Tonight, we are learning new details about a deadly shooting involving a former NASCAR driver. Police say John Townley died at a home in Athens over the weekend after getting shot by a man from Dunwoody. But tonight, that shooting suspect isn't facing any charges. CBS 46's Haley Mason joining us now live from Athens. And Haley, you just heard from police. Just spoke with police, uh, Karen, and then we came over to the tragic scene here on Morton Avenue. We're in Five Points in Athens, just a block away from UGA's campus. And this is the home where police say a former NASCAR driver uh, once lived and was killed over the weekend in a domestic dispute. This is 31 year old John West Townley, a former NASCAR driver uh, whose father was actually a co-founder of Zaxby's restaurant. Police say that Townley uh, was shot to death Saturday night here on Morton Avenue. Avenue in the Five Points neighborhood of Athens. It happened at the home that he once shared with his ex-wife, Laura Townsley. Townley. Police say John Townley showed up at the home Saturday night and attacked his ex-wife and another man, 32-year-old Zachary Anderson, with a hatchet. The Townleys were in the process of a divorce that was uh, finalized this last week. Police say Anderson, the man at the home, took out a gun and shot at John Townley, but ended up accidentally shooting Laura as well. She is now in serious condition at a local hospital. John Townley died at the hospital. Police tell me that Anderson was not injured, and right now they are not making any arrests. We do know that the Townleys were um, either divorced or in the process of getting a divorce, and. Uh, Mr. Anderson was uh, an acquaintance of Ms. Townley. Um, again, we're still working to determine exactly what their relationship was. Preliminarily, we're not ruling out that this was a case of self-defense. We, before we make an arrest, we want to do a thorough investigation. Um, anytime you know there's a loss of life, it's a tragic incident, no matter what. And we just want to make sure we're doing a very thorough investigation before we make any charges, if any, are going to be made. And right now, a lot of people just left speechless about what happened here. And police say they will continue to investigate. We'll bring more details into this investigation coming up at 615. Reporting live in, in five points in Athens, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thanks.